Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, September 15th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I listen to the pieces of me to find my balance and harmony. Whew. All right, so, so many songs coming up. <laughs> the song right as I was like listening for energy mantra, the song Pieces of Me came on, Ashley Simpson. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, you know, the early 2000s. That's what came on, but uh, on in Mimi record player. But a uh, really strong song came in for Mars in Libra. And I actually had to look at the person who, I believe he wrote the song. I was like, oh my gosh, he has a Mars in Libra, doesn't he? And he does. So song is Instant Karma. <laughs> songwriter, <laughs> I think, or song singer at least, John Lennon, um, Mars and Libra. So that is what I'm feeling. We literally just had Mars shift into Libra. It is zero degrees Libra. I wanted to go to sleep, so I <laughs> made myself get up and come do this video so I can go to bed early, hopefully. Feeling that zero energy, the low, low energy vibe, like, ah, oh, I don't want to do anything. It's good. Be in that transformation energy. Be in that transformation space. Stay, space. Words are hard right now. But the song Instant Karma is what I'm really feeling with Mars in Libra. What it feels like is with Mars in Libra, Mars the planet of action, Libra the sign of harmony, balance, our center, beauty, love, relationships. What I'm feeling with Mars in Libra for the next month and a half, all the way through October 30th, that the moment that we do something that is not conducive to our center, to our harmony, to our personal balance, whoo <laughs> we are gonna, what a noise. We are going to feel that instant karma. We are going to feel that reaction in the universe. So your work for Mars and Libra is noticing I feel like Chandler from Friends. When that reaction comes, oh, what did I do? Where am I out of balance? Where am I out of harmony with myself? So that is powerful. I really love that analogy, and I'm going to go listen to the song. But I was like, oh my gosh, I bet John Lennon has Mars in Libra. I feel it so strongly. Joe has Mars in Libra, and I see it in him. He He's out of alignment. <laughs> it's also probably part of his yacht. Um, and his yacht has Libra in it, right? So this is our work with Mars in Libra. Taking action that aligns with harmony, that aligns with our center, that aligns with peace, that aligns with our balanced self, rather than coming from extremes. Now, with Libra, there's always some level of pendulum. There's always some level of moving between extremes. And so your work is going to be when you're swinging wildly and not to have that knee jerk reaction that goes wildly the other way. But how can you react, respond, take action in a way that brings about balance, that brings about harmony? And again, harmony needs to start here and not out there. And that's one of I have my Saturn and Jupiter, like conjunct in Libra. It's been a, such a huge lesson for me, is that the harmony is not started out there. The harmony is always started in here. So where can you take that action? It doesn't mean like, oh, my butt's cold and they have a carpet under them, so I'm going to pull that carpet out from under them so that I don't have a cold butt, and that'll be in harmony for myself. If you look in yourself and that causes harmony truly, you got some work to do, right? <laughs> so it's not about that. It's not about sabotaging somebody else to come into your alignment, but it's noticing, oh, my butt is cold. I'm on the floor. Okay, well, maybe I should actually find a more conducive place to sit rather than, you know, yanking somebody else's rug. So keep that in mind, Mars in Libra. What else with Mars in Libra is really learning to find harmony even as there are wars going on within, because we all have battles that we're facing within, battles around our worth, battles around our pride, so many different layers of things. And so going to work 
in those places within ourselves and again working towards harmony now Mars in Libra can be very activated in regards to relationship. You may find yourself really wanting, desire that partnership. Start with being a good partner to yourself and hopefully that can align. But again, keep coming back to the relationship that you have with yourself. Next, the relationship we have with God, universe, because it will be these energies that do help you find the alignment with Mars in Libra. Now, some astrologers and ancient astrology says that this is not a good position. I think all astro is good for us. I think all astro is needed by us. So <laughs> use this, use this to support your ultimate balance and harmony. And like I said, we have, oh God, the words just left my brain. This is what happens during like Mercury retrogrades. Like words will just suddenly poof, disappear. Mutual, not mutual reaction. Oh my gosh, I said it the other day in, in the scope, but we have Venus in Scorpio and Mars in Libra. And so they're in each other's uh, signs. I can't believe that I cannot get to the words. Anyway, so this is another call for balance. Venus is feeling very amorous being in Scorpio, right? Um, but Mars and Libra is like, wait, hold on. Is this my best choice of action? And Venus is like, I don't care if it's the best choice in action. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I want. So we have a nice little, we have a nice little counterbalance where Venus and Mars can come to understand each other a little bit more and find a little balance and harmony in each other's experience. So I like that for all of us. So besides this and feeling the zero degree sleepy Mars energy, um, we have Grand Trine Earth, we have Virgo, we have Taurus, we have Capricorn, all activated. So we may be feeling very practical. It can also feel a little bit muddy, sometimes even stuck with all of this. So don't forget to take some time to work with things that do inspire you if you are feeling any stuckness in this Earth energy. Um, but, you know, probably not because the Moon is also connecting to like Uranus and Lilith. <laughs> so chances are, even if you are stuck, the universe is like, oh, I see you. Poke, 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 poke. The universe is the ultimate poker. Who needs pokes on Facebook when we have the universe? <laughs> um, moon and Capricorn squaring um, Mercury. We may be, feel a little rough edges, a little triggeriness that uh, harshes our balance, our balance, our attempt at balance um, with Mercury in Libra. So watch for that and watch where are those shoulds coming from? Is it somebody who you really want to take advice from? You know, does it really resonate with your soul? Keep coming back. Does it resonate with your soul? Does it resonate with your balance? Does it resonate with your holistic self? If it does, even if it triggers you, like, Yes, work into it. And if it doesn't, put it to the side. Maybe it's not for you right now. Um, sun and moon connecting. Uh, you know, between Virgo and Capricorn, it is, they are hard working signs. They are get her done attitude kind of signs. Um, but again, with Mars at zero, you just may not have the energy. And it's okay to be. And it's okay to not produce, right? <laughs> um, ugh. By the end of the evening, moon conjunct. Pluto, ugh, it doesn't feel so great to me. <laughs> again, there may be some power struggles coming up. And again, it may even be like showing you, my page fell off, I was really trying not to, maybe coming up like where you're out of balance, where you're out of harmony, and it may be, you know, in relationship closer to you. But I have to show you, I love this. I have these two threes right here. We have the celebration card and the experiencing card. Hard times require furious dancing, and you're going to grow from this. So if you are feeling the struggle, whether it's the Mars and Libra energy, penduluming, you know, in that instant karma reaction energy, or just even with the relationships in your life, the projection and the compromise card, or the don't compromise card, this is bringing growth. So dance through, dance your cares away. That's the second time Fraggle Rock has come up for me today. I also have the full card. So there may be an opportunity to do things in a new way through all of this. So really watch with Mars and Libra. You may usually respond one way. Instead have that instant karma song in your head and be like, let me see if I can respond in another way that is more conducive to my own personal sense of harmony rather than trying to fix everything out there. 
So I'm kind of digging this astro. Now I will say we are building into Venus Saturn square late Thursday night. So again, relationships really may be feeling the rub <laughs> and not in a good way, kind of uncomfortable. So do keep that in mind and keep working on tending to the relationship that you have in yourself find that harmony and I promise it does make a difference so that's it for today you can book a reading with me email me Mimi Clark at gmail.com besides that the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power and stay curious namaste